Hi guys, so today I wanted to show you how to make your own homemade do-it-yourself lip scrub um, in the fall and winter. It's kind of gross when you have those chapped lips all the time and I just love when my lips are like baby smooth. So I'm going to be showing you how to make your own lip scrub today. But I also did want to mention something. I don't know why, but YouTube is now kind of forcing people to link up with Google Plus and that would be fine with me except for the fact that I can no longer reply to you guys' comments and that is really bothering me. I can't figure out how to reply now and it's very frustrating because if I don't sign up, like if I disconnect my account from Google, um, then I can't comment at all. If I'm connected to Google+, Plus, I can comment in general, but not to a specific person. It actually just happened today that I can no longer reply to your comments, like, directly. So, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring you guys, I promise. Um, just, I guess, check back to see if I commented back. I don't know, it's just really frustrating. And if any of you other YouTubers um, have this problem or know how to fix it, please comment down below and let me know. But I'm not ignoring you and just, Bear with me while I figure this out. Moving on, I'm just going to show you guys how I make this homemade lip scrub and how you can too. So keep on watching if you want to see this tutorial. Okay, so what you're going to need is some vanilla extract, some coconut oil, some dark brown sugar, some honey, and a little bit of olive oil. You're also going to need something to put it in. I'm using a spray painted eyeshadow pot. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar to start the mixture. And then you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil. and then one tablespoon of coconut oil. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of honey. and then a drop of vanilla extract. And then you're just gonna mash it up into a paste and it should look like this when you're finished. Kinda gross. <laughs> so you're just gonna put that in your little jar or whatever and it's so cute, I love it. Okay, so after you should have your cute little lip scrub, um, I put mine in this little eyeshadow pot thing. I thought it was cute. I spray painted it. Um, you can put it in a jar or whatever you want. I'm just going to take a little bit of the lip scrub. You can just rub it off with a damp towel or washcloth. I'm going to use a towel. Um, I guess you could eat it. You want to keep in mind that you're actually just scrubbing off the dead skin cells off your lips, so it's kind of gross to like eat it. But I mean, so I'm just going to wipe this off. And this really just exfoliates the crap out of your lips. It's awesome. My lips just look so much like pinker and healthier. And then after, I definitely recommend that you apply like a chapstick. Any of the Nivea ones are awesome. So I definitely recommend doing this. Just if you're going to wear a lipstick, it really, really helps keep your lips nice and smooth and crack free. It smells great. It tastes delicious, even though you're probably not supposed to eat it, but you really don't need to make as much as I did. I just did that so I could show you how to make a big batch if you had like a bigger jar. Um, but yeah, I really love this exfoliator. You guys should try it out. Super easy and I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.